Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is October 23rd of 2019. It's almost 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, I just did a review, a short review of this computer light that goes up on uh, top of your monitor. And... Uh, I'll probably leave, I think I'm going to leave it at least when it's dark. Well, actually, no, because it's always sort of dark over here. So I think I'm going to leave that on. I leave my computer on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because I only sleep a couple hours every night because of well, medical problems. And uh, so I'm really glad I got this. But as you know, I've been using the... Uh, Logitech G910 keyboard, and I love it. It's great. I don't use the programming part of it. Um, I just I just really like it. But I have some other nice keyboards that I've reviewed. Uh, here is the... Uh, this is kind of an older one. It's the uh, Razer Black... Window. I keep saying widow. I think black window ultimate, and it's. I think it's it says 2014 on it, and it's massively built, and it has this cable, really rugged cable. There's uh, two USB connections that it uses up but then that gives you a USB connection. And I never use the uh, 3.5 audio jacks, but this is a massively built keyboard. And, you know, I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember the review that I did. I mean, I know it wasn't bad, but I can't remember the... Uh, Well, I know one thing. That's probably a killer right here. Yes, it is. This one, in order to adjust the volume, you have to hit a function key or an alternate key, and then what? One of the uh, so that's a uh, that is a no go for me. I have to have because uh, I adjust the volume all the time. So that's not going, so it's not that. It's going to be, so I have this uh, DOS keyboard. Not DOS, D-O-S, but DOS, which is, what, German for the or something? I don't know. So, uh, and I really like, I really like it. I'm thinking that the reason that uh, I think the problem I had with it now this just has one USB cable but it is a 3.0 cable and where is the pass through here wait a minute oh here it is yeah there are two USB 3.0, of course I have, you know, I have 3. Point, you know, but anyway, so one connection, keyboard, USB 3.0, two USB 3.0 connections here. It has a volume control here. I'm thinking that the only thing that I did not like about this keyboard was <clears throat> that the keyboard did not light up. Now, I don't need flashing lights or I just need the keys lit up. But now that I have this, so I'm going to try this out. So, let me take care of a couple items here. 
I just got oops, hook up here. Um, I just got installed finally. Uh, Windows version 1903. I. My computer was trying to install it for, I don't know, the last week or maybe longer. And the computer would uh, just be rebooting forever. And what? Uh, so, anyway, today, finally, I got 1903 and it's uh, boot version uh, or OS. Uh, 19008.1. Point, point <clears throat> My voice is going here. So, um, my computer seems to be working better. I was having, <clears throat> I may have to, I may have to get a Coke. Um, not Coke drug, but Coca Cola. Um, So you can look look up, you know, 1903, but it uh, they make a bunch of claims for it when Microsoft does uh, for Windows 10, and so far I'm I've noticed an improvement, and uh, so what else did I want to mention? I mentioned that the Yahoo groups were being done away with by Yahoo. I set up this last week. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I'm going to have a group that I can, nobody's going to go to it because everybody's using Facebook and whatever. But I'll play with this anyway. I've been playing with stuff since 1982 online. I played with stuff before 1982, but I can't talk about that. Um, so this looks interesting to play with, this group. And I'm not sure if I'm going to make it open to everybody or by invitation only or just what I'm going to do with it. And no matter what I do with it, probably nobody's going to go to it because everybody is using Facebook and Twitter. Um... So what I'm going to do is stop this video, but don't you touch the mouse because just don't touch the mouse. I'm going to stop the video and then do an actual reboot so the any drivers and that type of stuff and hook this up and compare it to the Logitech G910. This is the uh, it's the has a long model number, which I guess I won't give you. Oh, what I will do, yeah, let's do that now. DOS keyboard. Let's do that now. Well, let's also do the. Uh, I'm sure you know about this keyboard, but let's let's do this. Uh, Amazon uh, G910 and here it is okay So this is the um, Logitech G910. I'm very happy with it. Great keyboard. So let's go over back here and do the Okay. Okay, which one do I have? Uh, 
uh, okay, maybe I got to do this. Orders. You know, I'm thinking I got this at, uh, oh, I, okay, I did get it here. Yeah, I have the uh, this one here. Okay. Um, they call that a USB 3 hub. So, but this is not lit, but I don't need it now. So, I'm going to reboot to make sure everything. So, I have to tell you, don't touch the mouse. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I hope you didn't touch the mouse. Okay, I now have the DOS keyboard hooked up. It appears to be a lot smaller, but I don't think it's a lot smaller, but it uh, sort of looks, it is quite a bit smaller, really. I don't know, I think the keys may be even smaller. <clears throat> that makes sense because Logitech with their keys did some strange things here. Kind of slope up on the edges and stuff. So The keyboard, de that's so it definitely looks smaller. It, it is smaller. Um, I had to type in order to get us back here, you know. And, and I, I just feel a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, using it, but I just think, I, you know, I'm used to using that keyboard, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to it. But I just, so I have this one uh, cable coming off of it, and it's a 3.0. And when I ran, went around to hook it up, I uh, was thinking, you know, for some reason, uh, two, that I, I don't need to, you know, uh, and I had one free. And so now I have two 3.0. By the way, here's the volume control. Um, on this, and my Braille camera, the one I'm using right now, is a 3.0. I could hook it into here. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use this. My complaint before I know was that this was not a lighted keyboard. So I may switch back in a few days, but uh, and I like the lettering on here is standard where like that other keyboard, by the way, I don't know, it's got some weird things on it. Um, it's the, okay, this one is standard, you know, the, uh, so it's the other one, too, that has, like, the things above, you know, to the at sign and the whatever on that other keyboard over there. They, I'm not sure if they use international symbols or what. Um, so you may see me, I too, what I need to do is I need to find the review that I made for these, for this keyboard and put the link below. So if I don't get it done immediately, I will uh, come up with it. So here's the keyboard. Everything is very, I don't look down here and, and think, what is that? Of course, I'm a touch typist. When I went to high school, Dito Sound Military Academy, they gave you a test to get in, and uh, I ended up in the, there was two dummy homerooms, I ended up one of those, so I got typing, and uh, the others, the other two smart homerooms, those kids got Latin and trigonometry and uh, 
smart stuff. We got typing and bookkeeping, and because the Christian brothers didn't have much, <laughs> didn't think that we were going to amount to very much. Nah, I know I, but anyway, when I was taking typing in high school, I thought it was sort of feminine, you know, women working. I mean, I'm so glad I took touch typing. I flunked it, I think, but uh, I flunked everything. Anyway, I, I like this keyboard right now, and I have this light on it. I can see, so there's no problem with that. I don't see, I don't need any programmable keys. I don't need any uh, lights flashing or doing any, any of the stuff that the Logitech keyboard will, with the software, will keep a record of what keys you push and do all kinds of stuff. I don't need that. Um, but I do feel a little uh, everything seems to be in the correct place. I guess I just need to get used to it. So here is the keyboard. There's my volume control. Here on the back is this like a ruler, you can take it off. And if you put it on the back, then it raises the keyboard a little bit. So now the Logitech has, now I have the Logitech, I actually was a couple times, I actually did program something for a programmable key. Something that I, I can't remember what it was, whether it was something to go with Word, that I was two or three commands, and I did actually, but uh, I really don't need, but you can see here, and the uh, colors, and is it my keyboard? Because well, I can just look. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I see. It was so dark I couldn't see. I was looking for the sound thing. It's there, yeah. So that is the keyboard that I have. Um, the DOS keyboard has to be better because it costs twice as much. Um, by the way, I... I'm thinking of going and, and uh, going through my videos and just deleting some of them. I have, I think, a thousand videos, over, I think, over a thousand videos. I'm thinking of uh, going through and you can see here what I've expected to make this month from YouTube, and I spend more than that on. <laughs> But I uh, wanted to mention that this video I made about the uh, shooting, of course, I had the an hour and a half video, but <clears throat> I had several people correct me on things that I was in. I think it was actually one guy. Things I were that I was, when I made the video that I was, that I did not know. And I'm thinking of just going ahead and deleting this, not because of any bad comments. I really haven't had any. Uh, I thought I was expecting a lot of hate or whatever. There's been 36 comments. But um, so this is one I'm thinking about the shooting video. Uh, I'm thinking about deleting it because. I did not know that, well, I guess I shouldn't mention this video because I don't want to make any money off of a shooting. So that's why I'd, I had turned off the ability to make money with that. So I don't want to get into that. But I'm going to be going through, I think I'm going to delete this video. And I think I'm going to go through and delete some of these other videos. 
The only problem is the way I make videos are not one subject videos, very rarely, and I don't want to go through and delete something that, because I've got videos on YouTube of uh, 10 years ago or whatever when I was in Miami, and occasionally, maybe every year or two, I go back and look at those videos, and it reminds me of when I was there, you know, the rainstorm and the golf course and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to delete those videos. So I And I don't want to have to sit through and watch one of my videos in order to... But anyway, I do think I'll be... I just wanted you to know that it, when I... If, and I delete this video that I made on October 17th. It's not because of anybody's negative comments or any bad. I, you've all been really nice to me. I, I just don't get, uh, of course, I don't get the thousands or millions of views that other that people get. And then you, the more people you have. But so if, when it disappears, it's not because of any comments or anything. It's because there was two or three things that I did not know that I learned that uh, I did not get correct in the video. So, And then I made to be, delete some other videos. But like I said, I don't want to delete them without knowing the content. And this one that I did make the other day on the 17th, uh, the first 38 minutes or whatever, I didn't even get into the situation I was going to talk about, but the 30, first 38 minutes I thought had good content telling you about my background and and uh, everything. I kind of hate, maybe I could download it and edit every, and do away with everything after 38 minutes and then tell you what that 38 minutes is about. Although it wouldn't make sense because I was saying I'm telling you this because of and then I wouldn't get it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, I'm going to play with this. I'm very happy with the uh, light. I'll put the link for the light below. And if you purchase it, I get a commission. Um, I'll put the link for the keyboard. These two keyboards. Not that other one. And I'll try to find the video that where I uh, reviewed. Now this G910, I think, I'm not sure I, I did a full review, but in a bunch of my videos there, I talk about it. I mentioned that, hey, this is, you know. So that's why it's so hard to, that's why I'm never going to be popular on YouTube. Because I do think on YouTube, you people come, if I, if I say in the title, uh, you know, something, and then I have something else. I mean, if, I, if it's in the title, I'll get around to it. But people do like to, and then people too like certain content. And my content is video blog type content. What's going on in my life, what kind of, what's, what's bad, what's whatever, and that's not, that's more like something you'd find maybe on Facebook. Although, <clears throat> although I've been doing this since 1982, but times have changed. So, um, what else is going on? Um, I'm uh, showing my son how to, uh, my grown son that <clears throat> lives here with my ex-wife and myself, and we all share the expense. Uh, starting today, I am showing him how to log in and pay bills and that type of stuff, because it's not if something happens to me, it's when something happens to me, and if I don't just flat out die, which... I hope I don't end up in a hospital. I mean, I just hope I die in my sleep or something. 
Uh, but if I do end up in the hospital, I don't want to be in the hospital worrying about are they going to be able to pay the bill takes all of our income and to really pay for things. And uh, so I don't want to be laying in the hospital thinking I want my son to know that he can come in here and uh, see when a bill is due. And because I don't know about the rest of you, but uh, there's a lot of bills I don't I don't get that I don't get paper for. They're all online. Uh, I I did have to write a check for some reason last week, and I think it's been several years since I've actually written a check. And uh, so I. I check everything, you know, online. Um, by the way, if any of you, the last, I think it's, I'm not sure what ends. Maybe it's already ended. Any of you watch the meteor showers? I can remember when I was like five years old, my parents for that, that year, they, we had just come back from California where my parents worked building Liberty ships for World War II and they rented a couple of room or a couple of rooms or whatever for one year or less in uh, this house and I can remember sitting on the porch back then you had swings and stuff like that sitting out there with uh, Mrs. Hannah the landlady and my parents and I was there and just watching the meteor showers, which I guess I could do a search for what year would that be? I was born in 41. I guess I could and see if it was a remarkable year or not because I just remember sitting there and so anyway, thank you very much for watching. Oh, please, if you're going to be going to purchase something on Amazon, please use Jim Howard dot, whoops, it's covered up. My picture's covering it, or I think, or is it? Yeah. There we go. Just use Jim Howard dot me, and that'll take you, well, will take you right here. And then just, if you want to buy something, whatever you want to buy, just, uh, do a search for it, and if you buy it, I get a commission. And uh, I think this month I'm getting $18 from Amazon and commissions. And the last two months I haven't gotten anything. Well, actually, I got it a little bit, but it wasn't enough to go beyond $10, you know. So, uh, but uh, yeah, please uh, use Jim Howard. I set that up so uh, make it easier. But you can see up here also if you go to Amazon.com slash shop slash HNBBS that brings you, <clears throat> that brings you here too. I've got to uh, have to get some have to drink some Coke. Uh, thank you very much for watching.